Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're talking about HDMI 2.1. You might be thinking to yourself, what exactly is HDMI 2.1? Well, basically it's just the latest version of HDMI. There have been a number of versions over the years. Each one has added new features, things like 3D or lossless audio, or most recently HDR. Now HDMI 2.1 is designed to include all the features that we know are coming out over the next few years, which hopefully will avoid the problem of any future proofing, because obviously you might be thinking, why didn't they just have all this included when they first developed HDMI? But of course, over a decade ago, many of these features just didn't exist. So what does HDMI 2.1 include? Well, first of all, it supports uh, increased resolution, not just 4K, it also includes 8K. It also includes things like dynamic metadata. So at the moment, HDR includes static metadata, which can be delivered over HDMI 2.0, but HDMI 2.1 will also include dynamic metadata, which will change the metadata from scene to scene to hopefully give you a, an improved HDR experience. It also includes EARC. So again, ARC was a feature that was added previously, audio return channel, so you could send audio from the TV back to the receiver or soundbar via the HDMI connection. The new version, EARC, Enhanced ARC, will also allow you to send lossless audio back to your receiver or soundbar. That's actually quite a useful extra feature. Other things it includes will be frame rates. So we're looking at increasing the frame rate, not just up to 60 um, frames per second, but up to 120. So that will also be included with an HDMI 2.1. And finally, it will also have variable refresh rates, very useful feature for gamers. This will mean that they can have the refresh rate can be adjusted from scene to scene to give a more fluid gaming experience. So there's a lot of useful features there, features that we know are gonna be coming out over the next decade or so, which hopefully means that HDMI 2.1 will remain valid for at least the next 10 years, um, which I think is good news. I mean, you don't have to worry about changing standards again or having new versions of HDMI or having different cables. Now, existing cables won't necessarily work with HDMI 2.1 because it has a much larger bandwidth. You will need to get new cables probably, although at the moment, no devices actually use HDMI 2.1 because it is still very new. It was only agreed at the beginning of this year in 2017, but it's definitely coming. It will mean we'll have a whole new range of features and it should keep us future-proofed for at least the next 10 years, which has got to be good news for everybody. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget you can see more news, reviews, articles, and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest home entertainment community. Thanks for watching.